This is one of the 20 boxing gyms in Bukom. It's austere. It's crowded with ambitious young men wanting to follow in the footsteps of their heroes. 17-year-old Philip trained here every day for the last six years. Like many boys and girls in the community, he dropped out of school to focus on boxing. Every day. Every day of the year we wake up and go to the gym and fight and some people see me as a potential world champion. His parents want him to stay in school but says right now he's focused on his ambition. His coach says boxing offers a life to young men like Philip who otherwise would be out on the streets with bad company. Boxing has changed a lot of people's lives and uh, given them some career. Most of them maybe the education is not there. They have a little bit of education, nothing is there for them to do. But they have the physical energy, they have the strength. And there are hundreds in this fishing community. Nearly everyone here in Bukom is either a boxer or loves the game. It's a tough neighborhood where opportunities are limited. Yet despite that, this area has produced some of Africa's best boxers. A short distance away, Farida Suleiman sets her eye on a continental championship. Growing up, she had two dreams to join the army and be a good boxer. She believes doing well in the competition will help her achieve her second ambition, but she's not happy with the lack of opportunity for girls in the sport. If we are being given equal treatment as the footballers are being given, there's no way we will not bring medals to Ghana. We'll bring a lot of medals to Ghana. Let's say when we come to training here, no one motivates us. Farida is confident of reaching her goals of becoming a professional boxer. But in Bukom, not many young women and girls can say that. <laughs> Philip, on the other hand, has a lot of grounds to cover. As competition here is stiff and there is little help coming his way. But says he's determined to give his best to get there. Ahmed Idris, Al Jazeera, Bukom, Ghana.